Hey, what is up guys? This is Bo, or CarlHonga712, and today we're going to be continuing with our uh, franchise mode with the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, make sure if you haven't already hit that subscribe button, that definitely helps the channel out, and I upload uh, Madden content all the time, so make sure, like I said, you follow so you can uh, basically watch and anytime I uh, upload a video. I just want to say real quick, I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded the last couple of days. I've kind of come down with a cold. You probably can tell that from my voice. So I haven't been able to upload lately, but uh, we're going to get this one um, out to you today, and then hopefully we'll have some more in the background here coming up pretty soon. But uh, I just want to thank you guys for all the love and support on all the videos lately, and uh, like I said, I'm really having fun doing this and enjoying it, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying the videos as well. Luckily for me this week, uh, Minnesota did not play, so I didn't have to suffer through another heartbreaking week. So that's been kind of fun. And I'm actually really excited to take over Tampa Bay because, um, you know, obviously in my other two franchises, I've got Minnesota, who has a talented team, but they're underperforming in the real NFL. And then, of course, the Jets that are just so incredibly deficient in every every way. Um, that's been kind of tough so far to, you know. Uh, even though I got the uh, the win the first week, it's it's they're a tough team to take over and rebuild, so that's going to take some time to kind of work those guys, up, you know, over and get them in a much better position. So this is going to be kind of fun. I haven't made too many changes to uh, the, the Buccaneers so far. Um, basically, the, the biggest changes I've made is I went out and signed Logan Ryan in the free agency to begin with uh, to help out on the back end of the defense and then Mike Evans he ended up getting hurt in preseason I ended up not playing all my preseason games like I normally do so he ended up getting hurt and the uh, Arizona Cardinals ended up releasing um, Larry Fitzgerald so I got to bring in another Hall of Famer uh, future Hall of Famer anyways to play with this team that's already completely stacked so I'm definitely excited for that as well Tell I'm already going to have to knock off a little bit of rust here. These guys are really mowing through me pretty good so far. So we'll get it. We'll get her fixed, though. Actually, one thing I do need to change real quick. I ended up moving Jason Pierre-Paul. Ended up moving him in because I think that was there we go so we can get a little bit more pressure there on the on the edges Yeah, there we go. I usually can drop Vita Vey back here in the middle since we've been kind of dinking and dunking over the middle of the field. It's one thing I never, <laughs> it's one of the plays that you just never expect, so it ends up working. That's a good play on their part, though, I'll give them that. So we're going to start off this first, uh, their first drive. We're going to start off in the hole 7 nothing here, so. I will say the, for me, I'm, I'm kind of curious in the comment section if you guys have certain teams that you always struggle against, but the Saints, they just... They're the one team that always gives me trouble on Madden every year. Actually, I'm just, I am going to just pound it right at him. Hey, 
really excited to use uh, Larry Fitzgerald, though. I'm, I'm glad the Cardinals cut him because that was kind of the perfect filler for... I think uh, Mike Evans is out for like four weeks or something like that, so this would be kind of nice. Definitely going to have to change his number, though. I think it fits his number back. So. That's one thing I'll have to do uh, for the next video. Honestly, I wasn't expecting to be able to hit these big plays right off the bat. This is kind of nice. What I'm really excited for uh, on this franchise, and I think you guys will like watching it too, is just with all the weapons on offense, I think I'm going to be able to put up some, a lot of points. I'm going to have, have some big games with these guys, which I'm really excited about. And their offensive line is incredible, too. You know, playing under the Vikings franchise and, of course, the Jets franchise, I've got to throw so many passes before, you know, before I want to. And uh, it's just nice being able to sit back in the pocket and let, uh, you know, let these receivers go through their routes and, you know, basically do what I want to. So that's, that's really nice with, with Tampa Bay so far. Um, one more team I thought about doing a franchise for you guys um, that I think is going to be a lot of fun is uh, the Cincinnati Bengals. I think that'd be kind of a fun franchise to take over. Obviously, they've got their um, what appears to be their franchise quarterback. He's been just playing out of his mind so far. Um, Joe Burrow, they've got a great running back in Joe Mixon. Of course, they got A.J. Green, who's not quite what he used to be, but still a solid you know, wide receiver. Um, and uh, like I said, they've got some pieces you can really build around. So I think I'm going to do one more franchise, and it's going to be that one. But I want to know in the comment section, do you guys have a team that you'd like to see me take over? Um, like I said, I thought about doing the Washington Redskins. And of course, I ended up going with the Jets just because they've, they've been kind of the laughing stock of the league this year anyway. So I think that I figured that team would be a little more difficult to take over. So that's why I chose the Jets rather than uh, Washington. Because I think Washington had a few more... Uh, building blocks there with like Chase Young and stuff. This week I didn't get to watch too much football. Uh, like I said, with the Minnesota not playing, you know, I just, and being under the weather a little bit, I didn't get to watch too much football, but today I got to watch uh, the Titans and the Steelers uh, play. That was, so uh, I think that was one of the better matchups so far this uh, this week anyways. I don't know if you guys got to watch that, but definitely check out the highlights. Steelers got out to a big lead early, and Tennessee fought back, and they ended up getting into field goal range to tie the game right at the last minute, but of course, um, uh, oh, what's his name, uh, Gostowski, you know, ex-Patriot. Uh, he's been money if you get him past 50 yards this year, but he's been terrible if you're 49 or shorter. They ended up kicking like a 45 or 46 yarder at the end of the game. Of course, he missed it. They ended up uh, losing the game, but uh, that was a good one. Those two teams are those are probably the top two teams so far this year, anyways. And then, of course, you got to throw New England in there, or not New England, sorry, uh, Tampa Bay in there, and uh, 
probably Green Bay and a few others as well that I'm leaving out. I honestly really was expecting to run the ball much easier this match and then uh, kind of work off play action and complete some passes that way, but I actually might have a really big game throwing. That was a nice run there. That was really good coverage, so I'm just going to take the safe route there and th throw it away. Hoping to get some good protection here because Howard and Fitzgerald, they'll be open over the middle, but I'm going to have to have a little protection to hit them. Decided to go to Kronk, and of course he drops it. Punt though. Uh, out at the seven. Take that. That was it wasn't a bad uh, first quarter. It could have been could have been a little better, but uh, at least we're not in the hole. That's what I always worry about playing a team like New Orleans is getting behind too much, especially having a running back like Camara. I hate doing this, but I'm going to drop back with Vita V over the middle here. Not bad. Come to three and out again, so we should get some pretty good field position here. do on this first place I'm gonna try taking a shot down the field here actually I take that back I really like this play here I think that's what fits fits his second catch. It's not bad at all. I think Fitzgerald's perfect for this system too. This uh, obviously I'm running uh, the New England offense, and just with his route running ability and great hands and high awareness, I think he's he's perfect, he's perfect, perfect receiver for this uh, system.
don't know if you guys got to see too. I get to watch some of the highlights of the game today, but that uh, Cleveland Brown game was was crazy too. Um, I remember, God, was it last week or was it two weeks ago? The um, Stefanski, the coach for the uh, Cleveland Browns, so he was the offensive coordinator for Minnesota last year. Uh, he ended up benching um, Baker last. It was like so it was last week or two weeks ago. I can't remember. And uh, he ended up benching Baker and. Of course, he starts the game off. I was watching the scroller down at the bottom, and I think he was like 0 for 5 with an interception, so I'm figuring, you know, oh, well, looks like his time might be done. Of course, he ends up completing, I think, 22 of 23 after starting off 0 and 5. Throws, what, what is it, four touchdowns, has that crazy touchdown at the end of the game to bring him, get him ahead. And uh, he looks like the looks like the guy they were hoping for, this uh, that game against uh, Cincinnati, so we'll have to see if he continues. I had a guy breaking open there, but because of the pressure, I didn't want to risk throwing it. Just when I talk about the uh, offensive line being incredible, those back-to-back -back plays get just pressure right up the middle there. I think what I need to do next time since they're getting pressure when I'm getting down in the red zone, maybe uh, just uh, <clears throat> go back to the running game down there. I figured they'd run the ball there. It's a good stop. See if he reestablished. If he reestablished, re he didn't get it. Yep, he did. It's another three and out there. That's pretty good. Are you serious? Wasn't he down? Can I challenge that? No, nope. didn't give me the option to. To me, it looked like he was down, but maybe he wasn't. Yeah, overturned, yeah. I was gonna say, I could have sworn he was down. <laughs> good call, good call. Three. 
Oh man, that was there. It's one of the things I hope they fix one of these years. So I'll just probably throw something underneath and just try to make it a little better to punt here, I guess. And he, Gronk can't even hold on to it. Wow. got good field position too so they're probably getting at least three out of this. Unless we can hold them to three and out one more time. Let's see here. Kamara's probably the guy I worry about, I think, probably the most on their team, just because he's so dynamic. Ready. Yellow lady, yellow lady. Kill, kill. There we go. Yep, I knew that was going to happen. Kamara is just too shifty to, to cover like that. Drop our guys into man here. I'm hoping we don't get fried. That's my biggest worry here. Got decent corners, just not the best. Good play. Stop the clock too, since this is incomplete. That was big. Nailed it. Be nice if I can uh, basically get a field goal or some kind of score here right before halftime because I get the ball um, first after the half. So this would be huge if I could do this. I think we'll play out of the gun a little bit more on this on this drive. God, if he wouldn't have had so much momentum going out of bounds there, that would have, that could have been something big. Good play on Howard's part there. 
Get some good separation. Try taking a few shots down here if I get some time. I hate running a lot of these underneath throws here, but they're getting some pretty good pressure on me now, so I'm going to have to switch it up a little bit here. something like that, but the key there was to get the first. I take a big shot here. And get, to get the matchup or somebody break. I think he can make a 50. Oh, you got it. Oh, yeah. So that was perfect. We get the, we go up by three here. We get the ball at uh, halftime here. So hopefully we can score a touchdown once the half starts here and get up by 10 and give us a little uh, momentum. But uh, we'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, welcome back. Like I said, we scored right before halftime here, so get the ball back, and hopefully we can build on some of our momentum. I'm hoping to get the running game going here so I can maybe milk some time off the clock here, and then if I can score a touchdown, be up by 10, you know, and then have it late in the third, then if we can hold the Saints, uh, basically we'll be, be on a pretty good track for winning our week one matchup here. Try to run away from the blitz here. Not bad. Perfect play there. I figured they'd try to kind of blitz up the middle there and leave Gronk open on the corner. Curious to see, too, if you guys are still watching... Uh, do you guys see any crazy trades to be made right before the trade deadline? Of course, my Vikes, they trade for Yannick and Ngakwe. He plays really well for them. Then they end up trading him away to Baltimore, which I think that'll be great for Baltimore. He played really well for Minnesota the first five, what, five, six games he played for him. Uh, so I think that's a good move. I'm kind of curious to see if Dallas makes a move for a quarterback, somebody like uh, uh, Ryan Fitzpatrick or something like that. I could definitely see that happening as well, too, with Dalton kind of underperforming so far and then also with the big injury he had this week. So I'm kind of curious to see what you guys think, if, uh, if you think there might be some uh, possible trades coming up or not. Round 
Now, if we could score on this drive here, this is like the perfect start to the half, the second half. Taking four minutes off the clock, it'll be four plus minutes if it keeps going here and then get a score on top of that. I think that'd be perfect. Perfect. The perfect drive, like I said, that was executed perfectly. I would have liked to have ran maybe another minute off the clock. I think that would have been would have made it even stronger. But uh, like I said, you can't complain anytime you score on here. Especially against New England or New Orleans. I'm gonna have a hard time, I think, calling the uh, the Buccaneers the Buccaneers this uh, on this franchise. I'm gonna either call them uh, Tampa Bay Patriots or the uh, New England Buccaneers. I'm gonna do it every time because of Brady. <laughs> so forgive me in the comment section already. I, if I do that quite a bit, because I can, I can foresee that being a problem this uh, this franchise. <laughs> to be honest with you, Breeze hasn't been having that bad of a game in the. Um, the Saints in general, we've just been able to kind of keep the ball away from them, and we've been able to shorten up their drives. They haven't had any really long drives lately. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go back to... This dime look here, with the extra defensive backs on the field. Hmm, I wonder, is this going to be holding on us or holding on them? Good. Back him up a little bit on this one. I hope I don't regret bringing the blitz on this. <laughs> they got he tripped because I was about to regret that. <laughs> Pierre Paul, no, oh, David.
I just hope there's like no way that they could pick up the yardage on here. And drop back and play heavy, heavy zone coverage on this. I'm still worried about over the middle. And somehow on cover six, somebody gets behind the uh, the safety. I should have just played man there. I knew it. Should have played man. Our guys aren't terrible in man coverage. They're just not... I'm just not 100% comfortable with them playing straight man, so that's why I drop back and play zone a lot. But... Uh, I do like zone, though, along the goal line just because the windows are so tight. You can get a lot of interceptions playing zone down in the red zone. Alright, we're not going to make the same mistake uh, three times now. There we go. And yeah, geez, Pierre Paul's kind of, uh, he's up to a pretty good start so far. So if they make this, that brings him within seven. Another drive similar to last drive that should be enough to put the game away. Uh, touchdown or a field goal if we can get deep into the fourth quarter. Make it a two possession game. Ondo Jones here, he's having a hell of a day. Should should take him over a hundred on one of these runs here. Unfortunately, you guys are going to have to sit here for 15 seconds of nothing. <laughs> I'm going to actually let this one run out and go into the fourth quarter and try to get the clock moving and uh, go from there. So you got a pretty good matchup going here. Again, make sure, too, if you're still watching and you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like I said, we got a, we got a lot of Madden coming your guys' ways. a big loss for those guys. Yeah. It's be a good time to take a shot. I don't think they'll be expecting this. Actually, we'll take the safe. Nope, because he's going to drop it. Now what I was hoping there was that Godwin was going to come down with it and uh, Jones was going to hit, hit that uh, hit that block over there and he ended up not doing that. So Good pun again though. We kept him inside the 20 so they got a long field to go here. Good sack. Who's that? White again. Yeah, Devin White, he's been... Him and Pierre Paul, man, they've been the... If we end up holding this uh, this lead and winning this game, those those two are the reason why. Yeah, we'll just play normal 
I'm on coverage here. Oh, that was huge. And Vita Vey just ripped through there. Face mask or is this gonna be holding holding? Come on, man. Set the tone. One complaint I have and I, I think they I think it was basically done in one of the early patches that was released. I wish there were more holding and pass interference calls on the defensive side of the ball to make it a little bit more realistic, but I will say compared to the last couple of Maddens, I've seen a lot more penalties called, which I like I said I like more because it's a little bit more realistic. I don't know, what do you guys think in the comment section? Do you guys like having more penalties? Do you like more of a simulation style of game, which of course I prefer, and that's why I always like the 2K series so much, or do you guys like more kind of an arcade, arcade type of game where you're scoring a ton of points, putting up a lot of yards, and doing that? I was going to go over the middle there, and I probably should have, but I just didn't want to risk the pick. So I figure we'll just take the sack, we'll melt the clock a little bit more, and at worst here we're punting and giving them less time. So, not exactly obviously what I wanted to do, but... Wow, and he drops the ball. I'm having a big, big problem with drops this uh, this week. Rack and pinion here with the punt. That's crazy lining up Camara wide receiver and having him being successful. It's crazy that he good route runner and very shifty. I kind of like to uh, kind of like to run cover one, but I just I don't trust my corners and safeties enough to. Look. Leave uh, not to leave two guys deep. That was a little better throw and a little better timing. That was uh, that's a nice play there. That was a really nice play. Ready. 
Figured I'd drop back and play zone there and try to bring some pressure with Vita Ve, but not a good decision. So we're definitely going to have to score on this one, at least a field goal. Let's, uh, let's cross our fingers and uh, hope that uh, we get rid of the drop bug here. Get the old butter fingers cleaned up here. Here we take a shot. He was uh, he was kind of one on one there a little bit. I threw it a little too late, but uh, let's see here. If our offensive line can hit their blocks on the corner and kind of cover this edge, I can get a big gain here. I'll take the five though, that was a, that was a good run. I said sorry for the uh, the lull in gameplay here, but we're gonna try to melt the clock a little bit more on this. Beautiful. So this will take us to the two minute warning. Have to pick up about five yards to be real comfortably in field goal range here. Of course, I'm not looking for the field goal. I'm actually looking to run the clock out or score a touchdown. But. Should be game right there since we got the first down. pick this first down up and 100% it's over. Or we'll just score a touchdown. It's even better. <laughs> I was actually thinking about just falling and then running the clock out, but 
I was kind of off balance there, and I didn't want to... I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there's a little bit of a glitch in Madden where if you dive and you get hit while you're diving, most of the time you'll fumble with the football. Happens a lot when you're running with a quarterback and you're trying to slide if you accidentally dive forward. I was a little worried about that, so I just figured we'll, we'll make the juke cut there and go in for the touchdown, go up nine. That's good coverage there. Really good. I think here I'm just going to play this uh, cover two man. Maybe I, you might play a couple of zones, but uh, man's been working a lot better this game. So you were staying man. He's out of bounds. It'd be awesome if we can get him four and out here. Just sit on it. All right, here we go. 500th career tackle, but. How's it, how is it a tackle if he dropped the ball? <laughs> That's weird. Kind of a glitch on, on here or something. Drop back with uh, Vita V here. <laughs> no way. And those are the two guys, man. Our linebackers, I think, are the reason why we won this one. We'll go into victory formation here and get the win. Like I said, again, thanks for watching, guys, especially if you guys are still hanging out. I know sometimes it gets boring a little bit in the middle. But uh, this was a pretty good matchup here. And like I said, with Tampa Bay, uh, with all the weapons we have, um, and then our defense playing like it did today, and then the running game going, I think I think this has the potential to be a fun, uh, fun franchise, scoring a lot of points. And then, of course, once uh, uh, Evans comes back, and you know, Evans, Godwin, um, Fitzpatrick, or Fitzpatrick, well, Fitzgerald, uh, then Gronk, and uh, uh, God, was it Orlando Howard? I mean, we just got so many weapons on the offense, I can foresee this being, like I said, a lot of fun to watch. We'll take one more knee here, and that should uh, that'll end the game here for us. So we'll start off the Tampa Bay season 1-0. So like I said, thanks again for watching, guys. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in also seeing that uh, Cincinnati Bengals uh, franchise. But Three buds, three buds. Not two, three. Hey, 66! So good start. Like I said, Tampa Bay always gives me headaches. Or not Tampa Bay, sorry. The New Orleans Saints always give me headaches. So just that we were able to play strong defense. Uh, run the ball, control the clock. I mean, it was like the perfect game plan to beat the Saints. But, again, make sure if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, like it, let me know why. If you disliked it, dislike it, let me know why. But, uh, like I said, I'm always looking to improve. So, like I said, I always read your comments. Thanks for the views. Thanks for the subscriptions. Really enjoying it, having fun. Uh, like I said, I hope you guys are too. So we'll see you next video. Thanks for watching, guys.